Hello, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, from this video, I'm going to explain you guys how uh, gear is made in SolidWorks. Uh, the speciality here is that I've made a parametric gear. So uh, when you input the number of teeth, the module and the uh, pressure angle, you can get the uh, gear designed automatically since it's made parametric. So uh, I've added a, a list of configurations, configurations here on the left hand side if you see. So I have one of 16 teeth. If I double click here, you can see that the gear is automatically generated and 24 teeth likewise. And see like this. So uh, I've seen uh, many videos uh, on YouTube that explains the procedure of doing uh, such a parametric gear using uh, equations. Using equations is much, much easier because like you can uh, uh, set some global variables and then uh, do the uh, calculations for the gear teeth, number of teeth, the pitch diameter, diameter pitch, chord lengths and et, et cetera. But here I've only used the design table feature without any uh, global variables or equations. So if we check the design table that I have used, uh, we can right click on the design table and go to edit and you will get it. And this is the design table that I've used. So here you can see that these are the different configurations here uh, on the uh, A column, 16 teeth and uh, what, what so. So these are the uh, main dimensions I've used in the model. So it contains pitch circle diameter. Uh, this is usually equal to the uh, number of teeth. Uh, sorry, I can't remember the formula. You, you should uh, have some formulas for this. Base circle diameter is actually the pitch circle diameter to cos times the pressure angle. Similarly, you have the didendum uh, and addendum. Which uh, addendum is usually uh, equal to the uh, uh, module. Didendum is 1.25 times the module. Here I've used the addendum and didendum diameter. So you have to use the pitch circle and uh, uh, add the addendums and didendums to get the circles, clearance circle. Uh, extrude length, which is actually the uh, width, extruded width of the gear, circular pitch. Here I have uh, some circles that I've been uh, using for drawing the involute uh, circle method for the gear profile. Angle of half tooth, uh, C radius. This is a feature that I've used to correct the uh, involute uh, circle trim uh, for larger gears, D1 fillet size, circular pattern. So these are the uh, variables or the parameters that you should input uh, to get a gear designed. So uh, I've left one column here, gap. You should definitely use one gap if you need to do other functions that you do in Excel, you can do anything after uh, uh, leaving one gap. So I've used one column here to separate the uh, design uh, variables with what I've input. So for each configuration, I have the module, the number of teeth and the pressure angle. And for each of these, I have used equations uh, that are available in theory, which combines these three parameters to determine all these, not all actually, uh, uh, yeah, in fact, all of these. So let's see how this was done. So we'll exit the design table. And if we go to uh, the feature manager, you'll see that I initially have a box, box extrude. Uh, also, before that, uh, if I go to edit sketch here, you can see I have uh, uh, drawn five circles. 
this is actually the uh, clearance circle you have the oh let me go to the default configuration you have five circles here dedendum circle clearance circle uh, this is the pitch circle oh sorry this is the base circle this is the pitch circle and this is the addendum so so this the, the method i have used is the, in, the involute circle method so what you have to do is you have to create some sectors of equal size here i have drawn one two three four and five equal sectors you can equate them using a constraint you can set this angle to be the circular pitch so i have used uh, five sectors of equal size and uh, the arc length here is the circular pitch so you have to determine the angle that is of course very easy you can divide the number of you can divide the a total angle of a circle which is 360 over a number of teeth and you can get that angle and then you have to draw uh, tangent lines starting at each end of these uh, sectors and each uh, the first line should be e uh, equal to the circular pitch the second line should be two times the circular pitch and vice versa and you have uh, uh, here i have used uh, I think uh, five times the circular pitch. So uh, these uh, dimensions also you can use in the design table and easily get that uh, by multiplying uh, with this. So after that is done, uh, you you can you'll get these endpoints of these tangent lines, and uh, if you uh, join them together, starting from the uh, clearance. Sorry, starting from the base circle. The base circle is where the involute circle profile is generated or started from. So you can start from the base circle and join the endpoints using a spline. Then once that is done, uh, you can uh, determine the angle of the half tooth uh, using theory that is also equal to the angle of the pitch circle. Sorry, angle. Uh, uh, gear pitch angle divided by four. Uh, just uh, look into into the equations for clarity. And then once you have these uh, these angles marked out, you can join this redundant circle to the base circle, uh, and you'll get an involute profile. Then what what I have done is I've extruded uh, the addendum circle. Here you will see the cut feature. I hide this. Uh, if I suppress this, this is what I've extruded. This is the addendum circle, which is the larger diameter of the five circles. If I unsuppress this, here I have a correction circle. If we go to edit sketch here, uh, I've added a small arc here of angle about 30. This is uh, this angle is selected as 30 because it extends, it's beyond, it's actually 35, it's beyond the uh, angle that is usually uh, uh, taken for half tooth or even the circular pitch. So, what I have done is uh, when you use a higher number of uh, Teeth, the clearance circle usually uh, drops higher than the pitch circle. As the pitch circle drops beyond the clearance circle or even the dedendum. So you have to correct that. So I have added the if condition where this arc, uh, if the number of teeth results in the base circle or the pitch base circle dropping below the clearance, uh, it will it will this arc will uh, be equal to the clearance circle uh, or if the clearance circle is below the pitch circle sorry if the clearance circle is below the base circle 
this this arc will be equal to the base circle so once you uh, convert the entities uh, which which the involute uh, curve again here and trim it this will move according to the if condition that is used in the design table and it will trim accordingly so it's called the correction circle and then i uh, used a cut extrude to cut this feature out and then i've added the fillet here that's also uh, driven by an equation and then you can mirror it and then you can circular pattern according to the number of teeth those all are available in the design table so yeah that's basically how you, you use the excel design table feature in solidworks without any global variables or equations to do a parametric model so if you have any questions do let me know i'm happy to help you out